Well, fine, then you have your own God. You have your own God then. I mean, be happy with him. Make, make your God into whatever you want. He's not the God of the Bible because the God of the Bible is very clear about homosexuality. So feel free to make the up Bible your own God. The Bible has very many interpretations. And make up your own God. Very many interpretations. And I do God. not think this is okay. I do not think this is okay. Iniquity. You're still in the iniquity. You're still in your sin. And you want somebody to agree with your sin. You want God to agree with you. So you can be right with God. But we are here to tell you the truth. And the truth is that you're on your way to hell. The truth is that if you sin against the Holy God, you're going to be in the hands of a Holy God. Two blocks that way. They're like, no, I'm not gonna be on tape. All right, I'll put it on me. Go ahead. Two blocks that way. There are people like literally in games killing people just to kill people. Like, why are you here yelling at us for drinking and not over there yelling at people for killing people? <laughs> I know it's probably just about as dangerous here for us. You just, I mean, you just seen it earlier. We walk through the side of my dairy. We go walking through this crowd. It's about the same as a gang shooting going on. But we're here to warn the wicked. We're here to warn I'm the not, wicked. Listen. I have a great relationship with Christ. I, just because I choose to agree doesn't mean I don't believe in Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. In the Bible, says, first John says, by this we know that we know him, if we obey his commands. Anyone who says, I know God, Romans 1 32 says, listen, Romans 1 32. No, I won't do that. No, that's not right. That's not right. Romans 1 32 says, in you, who knowing God is just judgment, but those who do such things are deserving of death. And not only do you do the same, but you have proved those who do So when you're out here, when you're out here, you need to answer that. I didn't get these by doing anything wrong. I bought these. Expose them. We're out here exposing this wickedness. You're out here approving of it and, and so, taking part in it. I tell you, this, I go to church every Sunday. Okay, I pray every night. I will not. I will not defy one of the Ten Commandments. I love my husband. I don't believe in divorce. I don't believe in. You're drunk, are you? I don't believe in abortion. I believe in none of that. I do see adults in a beer from time to time, and I'm down here for the culture and to see what this is about. And I'm going to hell. You're, you're, then, I mean, if you want to want to worship God, then be right with God. You take off the beach, jump out of the beach, and go home. You're swimming in a sewer. There's only two places a Christian should be in regards to Mardi Gras. One is here preaching or two is far away as you can be. God told, God told Lot and his wife and his family to flee something, not to hang out and, and get a two-for-one beer deal. Because people will say, people always tell us, this doesn't, nobody, this doesn't have any fruit, nobody, you're doing no good, you're, you're turning people away, and this and that, and then they get to see, they get to see how angry sinners get, they get to see conversations, you know, somebody will be screaming at one preacher, and somebody will be, you know, in tears, and, and wanting to know more in front of another preacher, it's just, and it's really an incredible dynamic. Get Satan to come out here and do this. I can use I can use somebody. I can use somebody in here. Hey, I hear what you're doing, but I would never do it. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean, but you know what I mean? I hope that you will, bro. I am, but Jesus, I mean, I don't need a right with God already. Oh, you're weak. Jesus, I mean, I don't need a right with God already.